do not care about this small very much. Huh, they're not using this side much. Comedies, though. Yeah, this this hive has not been uh, ever really all that uh, aggressive. I like that tool. Old honey. Old honey. I'm gonna take this out. Just put it there for now. New nectar. <laughs> Fully kept. Cool. You can stay right there. So I'm gonna reorganize the side a little bit because you've got these old frames. Um, that are just wonderful space, but they're ignoring for whatever reason. Mm. Yeah, some of these were the old ones that had honey in them and everything already. Mm hmm We put them in. They seem to be working out. Yeah. So what I'm going to do... Is I'm just going to scrape, scrape the cappings over. So they realize there's honey there. <laughs> <laughs> and... See if that will encourage them to empty it, utilize it to dry out wax on the top box. And do we need a little sign? Use this first. Well, that's that's what the <laughs> ripping the cappings open is. Because a lot of times the bees will say, "Well, no, we cap that. We're saving it for later," huh. and they won't touch it. Huh. So if you open it up, then all of a sudden they're like, "Oh." You know, someone needs to do something with all this honey. No, well, they've actually drawn that out. Yep, and she's laying in here too. So that's good. Where is she? Uh, I don't see the queen, I just see eggs. Oh, okay. I'll point out the queen if I spot her. Oh, there she is. There she is, yep. There you are. And she's, she's laid this whole frame um, where they're hatching out. So that's good. Yeah. So I'm just going to put the frame with her right up against this empty frame. She'll and this frame has that. a whole bunch of open cells, so hopefully she'll just go right into working that. So we have to remember, depending on how many hives you look at today, we have to remember which hives have the marked queens and which ones don't. And this one's marked. And that's full of brood, so that's lovely. This yeah. is going to explode here. Please. Explode in the next week or two. Because right. there's these, this frame and this frame that are all capped. It's anyway. funny how some hives will take forever to get going, then all of a sudden they take off like a bat out of hell. Yep. <clears throat> well, that looks like that's going to happen this one. Yep. So I'm going to do that scraping trick to this one as well. And what I'm hoping is that by putting all this capped honey into the brood nest, the worker bees will say, that's not where honey belongs. <laughs> and they'll move it up top. Where it should be. Where it should be. And that will force them to dry out the comb up top and give you more good cells to for the queen to lay in the bottom box. Hmm. So I'm hoping it will give you that double whammy effect. Once I find the queen and I know where she is, I always feel much better about moving the other frames around because my big fear is rolling the queen, putting the frame back in. Yep, no, absolutely. <laughs> that one looks good, huh? Sign it does. Let me just do the same thing here. You don't have to really scrape it much, huh? No, you're just exposing the honey. And once they, the, the cappings are damaged, the bees will do the rest. 
Now, if you've got an old hive that you haven't touched in a couple of years and it had mm -hmm. honey in it and it didn't get robbed out, would that be fermented and bad for the bees? Not if the honey's capped. If okay. the honey's capped, it's usually going to be um, below the moisture content that yeast can reproduce. All right. So it won't ferment. Um, if there's uncapped honey in that Looking hive, good. it can definitely um, be fermented honey. He's in there and doing no, you you could tell with, with all the yellow shit stains on the front of your hive. A lot of brood. Well, ideally, you tell before that. So what you do good, is good you take the hive that um, is um, that's got the old uh, honey in it. Yeah. 